Here is an interesting question from the book. The observation deck of a Skylon Tower in Niagara Falls, Ontario is 166 meters above the Niagara River. A tourist in the observation desk notices two boats on the river. From the tourist position, the bearing of boat A is 180 degrees at an angle of depression of 40 degrees. The bearing of boat B is 250 degrees at an angle of depression of 34 degrees. Calculate the distance between the two boats to the nearest meter. So let's first try to sketch the diagram to represent the situation. So now we have two planes here. We say represent north and east on the horizontal plane in these directions. So we'll say let this be the north direction right and this is east for us. Now whenever we are given bearing angles they are always measured from north and they are clockwise correct. So when we say bearing of boat A is 180 degrees that means from this location 180 degrees will be kind of like this. So that is 180 degrees right. And when I say bearing of boat B is 250 degrees. So 250 degrees will mean that is 180 and this is 270 right. So it's kind of more than that. So it's kind of like this right. So that becomes 250 degrees, 20 less than 270. So these are the two bearing angles. So let's draw the location of the boats along these lines. So boat A, which is at a bearing of 180, will be kind of along this line, right? And boat B will be at a bearing of. So that is the line along which boat B will be there. Now how to find the point at which the boat is there? That we get from angle of depression. Now the tower is given to us as with the height of 166 meters. So this point is a point from where the observations are being done, right? So vertically down on the XY plane. Now that is the tower which is 166 meter let us say. Now it says at an angle of depression of 40 degrees for boat A. A is 180. So in this direction we have boat A. That means if I connect the tourist position with the boat A, I should get an angle of 40 degrees, right? So what we do is we draw a line at an angle of 40 degrees from this point. So that is kind of like this. Do you see that? So that's angle is 40 degrees for us. So we get this one as 40 degrees and we get a point which is point A for us. Now for point B the angle of depression is 34 degrees from the same point along this line. Do you see that? So 34 degrees could be along this line. So we'll go with this and we'll draw an angle of 34 degrees and let us say this angle is 34 degrees right let me extend it now so that we get the point of intersection so that it that is it so we get point B here now for point B from the top this angle is 34 degrees so when we say this angle is 34 degrees these two lines are parallel and therefore the angle of elevation becomes 34 degrees from B and similarly from A the angle of elevation becomes 40 degrees. So normally you'll see angle of depression and angle of elevation will square out, they'll be even, right? Now this is kind of vertical plane triangle and so this will be 90 degrees. What we need to find is to find distance between A and B. That is what we need to find. So let's join these points and then try to figure out how to find this distance between A and B. But I hope first part is the diagram is clear to you. Let's read the question once again to just confirm that we are on the right path. The observation deck of the Skyland Tower in Niagara Falls, Ontario is 166 
meters. That means this height is given to us as 166 meters. A tourist in observation desk notices two boats on the water. From the tourist position, the bearing of boat A is 180 degrees at an angle of depression of 40. That's correct. The bearing of boat B is 250 degrees at an angle of depression of 34. That is correct. Calculate the distance between the two boats to the nearest meter. So we need to find distance AB. Perfect. So from here, we can also find the angle which A and B, let's call this point as C and the observation point as T. So angle C should be, now we know this much angle is 250 and for A it is 180. So angle BCA should be equal to 250 minus 180, right? So that is angle C. So we have to do 250 minus 80, which is 70, right? So we do 250 minus 180, and that gives us 70 degrees. So in this triangle, we know that the angle is 70 degrees. Now, we have to find these two sides so that we can find BA. These two sides, that means BC and AC, can be found very easily using the vertical right triangles. We know the height of the tower is 166, correct? The angle at the base is 34. So BC should be related with tan of 34, right? So we have tan 34 equals to 166 divided by BC. That gives BC equals to 166 over tan of 34 degrees. Okay. So we can use calculator to find this answer, which is 166 divided by tan 34. That gives us 246.10. So we can write this as equal to 246.10 or just one. Okay. Now how about AC in the similar fashion? Triangle ADC is a right triangle with an angle of 40 degrees and the opposite side being 166. So AC is equal to 166 divided by tan of 40 degrees. And that is equal to 166 divided by tan of 40 degrees. 197.83 so we'll write 197.83 so we know AC and we know BC we know the angle C which is 70 degrees now we can apply cosine law and find BA correct so cosine law is BA square equals to BC square plus AC square which is 246.1 square plus AC which is 197.83 square minus 2 times 246.1 times 197.83 times cosine of the angle which is 70 degrees. So let's calculate this. We get 246 point one square plus one ninety seven point eight three square minus two times two forty six point one times one ninety seven point eight three times cos of seventy degrees equals to 66398 let me write down 66398 point this is 76 that is BA square now to find BA we can square root it right so we can square root this and once we square root this we get what we get 257.679 The units are meters, right? 
So calculate the distance of the two boards to the nearest meter. So we can round this out. So we get 258 meters. So that is the distance between the two boards. Well, with this example, the idea of taking this example was to explain you how to draw the diagram to represent the situation. And this diagram is kind of typical since we have both the boards on the same direction kind of, right? So there's kind of an overlap when you look at it. So it becomes difficult to visualize. But I hope now it's absolutely clear to you. And I hope you can do similar questions. Thank you and all the best.